friends in this video i'll show you how we can create one dialogue in android and this is a dialogue that will show one list and you can click one single item or multiple items from the list so for that first we need to create one new class suppose the name of the class is my dialogue and this this class needs to be extended from dialogue fragment we need to override one method it's called on create dialogue so just override it so here we need to return one dialogue so for that first thing i'll check I'll, i'm just returning it i'll check if that we have the activity instance or not because we need the context of the activity so if it is here if we have the instance or if we have the context of the activity then we'll create the dialogue and we'll return it if we don't have it then we'll throw one exception illegal state exception plus exception adding this message activity is null so it will throw this exception so here i'm gonna write this uh, how we can create the dialogue so for, uh, for that first thing we need to create one list of items that we want to show in the uh, dialogue so here just right click on this values folder new value resource file give the name of this file suppose the name is dot uh, data list so here i'm gonna add one string array suppose the name of the string array is data list and for this area we can add items suppose it this is selection one similarly let me copy it i'm gonna paste it okay one two three four five six these items we will show with and selection option so in the my dialog plus i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, create one builder so it is called lr builder so we need to use this lr dialog class dot builder so it uses the builder design pattern so once we get create this builder we using this builder we can set different uh, properties to this uh, lr dialog that we are just going to create so first thing i'm gonna give the title set title suppose it is select and option so i need to also import it just click on alt enter and import it and also one thing is that if you are for any type of builder pattern so we can directly write it here if i give it here then also it will work or you can just call it this with the alert builder use it as a new line so it's a uh, bit readable so here i'm gonna give this list a list so we can give mark it as a single choice items or we can mark it as a multiple choice items for now let's start with single choice items so here i'm gonna give the other array dot we have this data list for checked item so if you want any item as a checked yeah, initially so let's uh, parse it as null the third item is one on click listener so whenever the user click on any item then we need one listener so here i need to use this dialog interface dot on you can see that we have on click listener we have all on one tick choice click listener so for now we are gonna use the on click listener process the dialog the index and also if it is checked or not then based on that we can write our own code here also we can give buttons we can give positive buttons we can give negative buttons and also we can give one neutral button once the ok is clicked then similarly we can give one listener here 
that we will use dialog interface dot on click listener similarly here i'll get the dialog and the id let me add on log here so let me re return it because it is showing so many errors the first thing uh, we need to use is to create this create will create one dialog and it will return that dialog to the activity so here i'm gonna use this log as dialog log okay pressed so this log will be printed once we'll click on the ok button get one variable here suppose it is checked index equal to minus one and here i'm gonna change the checked index that we are getting from this on click listener this one is not a null so we need to pass one integer value suppose i'm passing it as minus one also we will not get this check value so here this string sends it to where yeah we can't use this the well okay so let me print it here okay brace checked value checked index is this is the index standard so is still showing me some improvements of this code if i click alt enter then you can see that it's showing me two improvements here so we can also move this lambda argument out of this parenthesis so if i click on that then it's a bit clear clean now so similarly it's also showing me one more um this if i click on this then it sends it to a template string similarly for this one if i click rename to this because we are not using the dialog okay to use this dialog in the main activity class so in our previous tutorial i have shown you like how we can create it just we need to create one instance of this my dialog class and we need to call this so Thus, uh, we need to pass the supported recognizer and we can give one tag. So, let me now start the app. I click on OK now. That it's showing me that OK express with the index is 3. So, if I click on this one, then it is showing me then OK express with the index is 4. So, index starts from 0. So, for the fifth item, it is showing 4. So let me try to sense it to multi choice items. So for that, we need to sense this set single choice items to set multi choice items. The choice items, and we can pass the same list, but for the second one, we need one list as the initial selected items. So for that, I'm gonna pass this null. So here also it passed one more fellow it's called checked if it's checked or not and also this on click listener we need to send it to on multi choice click listener so it's click listener for multiple choice selected items we can put it in an uh, list so let me create it as an array list so we'll get the check value that means that we can select or we can deselect an item so based on the check value here i'm gonna add that item to this check index array list or we i'm gonna remove that item so if it is check that means that we are adding that item or we are selecting that item so i'll add that item here and if it is not checked that means that we are removing that item or we are deselecting that item so first i'll check if that item is already in this list or not so here checked index dot contains 
it means we are checking if that item is in the list if it is in the list then we need to remove that item so checked index dot remove and we can pass the index that's it so then i can just print this value here it will print the array list okay let me rerun the program now then you can see that we can select from multiple items here so if i'm selecting this one two four five i can also deselect an item so if i'm click checking this one two four and five and if i'm clicking ok then it is giving me this zero three four and one so all for now so i hope that you learned how we can create one dialog in android and uh, how we can create one single choice items dialog or multiple choice items dialog and if you have any questions please drop a comment below also if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks bye